Thank you for coming. It's a very important assignment. I called my most important panther. Would you like an important beverage? I won't lie to you, Panzer. This mission could involve danger. Dangerous danger? Quite possibly. There's no glory in this mission, Panzer. The work will require work. The hours will each be at least an hour long. The nights will be dark. I'm not afraid of the dark, Inspector. I thought you knew that. You'll be dealing with some of the most influential individuals in politics and world affairs. None of them over 11. What was that last part? They are young. Very young. They are children, but not just any children. Some are the sons and daughters of diplomats and prime ministers. Others are political activists, environmentalists, humanitarians, or simply very, very cute. But they all share one thing in common. Yeah? What's that? They are smart. Very, very smart. You don't say. I believe the children are the future. Teach them well and let them lead the way. What a unique perspective. These children are at high risk for acts of terrorism. Your mission is to watch over them, protect them, see them home safely. Babysit. Baby nothing! This is as much about foreign relations as it is about summer camp. Summer camp? You're sending me to a summer camp? Not just any summer camp, you oblivious gargoyle. Camp Chilliwawa! Chili who -wa? Wawa! Wawa! Don't get so upset, Inspector. If anything goes wrong, if the children are the least bit unhappy... Their influential parents will go nutso. Their countries will be outraged. World peace down the drain. Oh, it could fuel the next world war, for crying out loud. There's not a moment to waste. The children arrive in Chilliwawa today. They have each been given a private jet for transport. Well, point me to my jet and I'm out of here. Small problem. We are run out of jets. No biggie. I'm a pretty resourceful cat. Just tell me where the place is. I'll find my own way there. I'm afraid the location is top secret. No one is to know where Chilliwawa lies. Not even you. I see. So how would you propose I get there? I'll have to magically zap you. Magically zap me? Oh, no way! I hate that! Look, last time it took me like three days to recuperate. My fur was all dried out, I had cotton mouth. I can't stand being magically zapped. I won't do it. I can't. I just need to make sure there's enough distance between us. You owe me for this. You owe me big time. We, oui, we, oui, we. Oui. The most spectacular summer camp ever! I think I'm gonna throw up. Hey! I get motion sickness. I like my feet planted firmly on the ground, thank you very much. If God intended for me to fly, he would have given me wings. But... I mean big metal wings, like an airplane! Pink Panther, welcome to Camp Chilliwawa, home to the first annual kids' conference. Children from all over the world will meet here to discuss how to promote world peace. Yes, I heard. It's a wonderful program. Have you met any of our multicultural, ethnically diverse, but all equally gifted campers? Not yet. Well, please do. Feel free to look around. We're glad to have you aboard.
That looks like a von Schmarty contraption to me. Maybe I'll get him to show me how it works. Smarty? Pink? It's your old friend Von Smarty stuck in here! Sorry, Smarty. Let me try to get you out. You're stuck. Don't panic. I'll figure something out. Saucy wrench. Told you I'd get you out. Thank goodness! It's been too long, my friend! Too, too long! I had no idea you would be here! Of course! I had to turn this place into a little person's wonderland! Wait till you see my outrageous inventions! The Super Suck is just fun! Would you mind depositing these items back where they belong? I'm so glad to have you around. Did you see the airboards? I made those too. Did you see my dial a day? No. What is it? One of my best inventions yet. You select a season, a time of day, and presto. Crisp winter morning. It's not even cold. Isn't it wonderful? Let me try. It's sensational! Terrific! Oh, by the way, this is the code that will help you get into the supply shed. What was that you just whispered? I said Chili Wabba's success has gone to my head! It's a great success indeed! Don't open the champagne just yet! <laughs> I'm from the Better Camping Bureau. The PCB, <laughs> run! <laughs> My staff and I are here to evaluate your program. Make sure the children are well supervised and happy. See that all your equipment meets all rigid safety standards. We said we want to inspect some of your high-tech gadgetry. Now, where is this stuff? Have you seen the airboards? What's an airboard? Like a skateboard that flies. Maximum weight capacity. That thing seems to work nicely. Here are some pogo shoes. Pogo shoes? Pogo shoes, yeah. I see. Pogo shoes. How nice. Mind if my men take a look at those? Make sure you set the dial to a beginner. B. 
beginner? Forget it, man. Crank him up. Show me what you got. If you say so. <laughs> Those look fine, but I'm warning you, one slip up and I'll shut this place down before you can say... Where's Louie? Where's Louie? Well, we'll consider ourselves warned. Don't get smart, Panther. I can't stand a smart Panther. You, you prefer a dumb Panther, boss? Shut it. Please, boss, I, I didn't do nothing. Say, what's in that shed? Oh, supplies, but it's locked right now and I haven't found the code to open it. No code to open it. Well, you're off to a crummy start. <laughs> I guess we better go find Louie. But we'll be back. <laughs> That guy's gonna be trouble. That was smart thinking, Pink. I'm going in my cabin to read up on the Better Camping Bureau policies. If you need me, just knock. Good thinking. I myself will take this time to do a deep cleansing kiwi citrus mask. My skin is horrific. I'll be in my cabin too if you need me, Pink. Okay, fellas. But don't worry. I'll be fine. Hi, my name is Chioni, and I'm from Egypt. My name means Daughter of the Nile. I like anything fast. My father is an ambassador, his name is Adolfo. I can write in hieroglyphics. Really? My name's Pink. What does your name mean? It means light red. <laughs> My name is Kumokin. I am a native Australian. Though I am only 10, in my village, I am considered a doctor of herbal medicine. I know all about nature. My totem is a crocodile. Ooh. Let me guess. Chili Wawa, what's your name? That's Young Li, a very gifted student from Beijing. Of course, no more or less gifted than any other gifted students. You understand. Excuse me. My name is Indrani, and I'm an independent Indian woman, okay? I believe women should be treated as equals, and I will fight so that my daughters can live with respect. I am a Hindu, and I love Hindu mythology. My name, Indrani, means goddess of the sky. Do you know where Bhutan is? That's where I am from. I'm a Buddhist, and I spent time as a monk in a monastery. I have pen pals from all over the world, and now I will have some more. Did you meet all the children, Pink? Even little Nigel? He's a bit shy. You'll have to find some way to get him to warm up to you. I can always make time for some fishing. That rusty old thing won't work. Trust me. Life jackets. Well, if all else fails, at least there's creamed corn.
Oh, hello. What's your name? My name is Nigel. I'm from England. I'm a pacifist. P-A-C-I-F-I-S-T. I am very T-I-D-Y and most everything with love and R-E-S-P-E-C-T. This is my first time at camp. No roughhousing, please. You like fishing? Does it kill the fish? We won't kill them. We'll throw them back. But it must hurt a little when you snag them on the hook. I suppose it hurts a little, but just a drop. Like a teeny tiny eeny weeny little pinch. Ow, ow, ow! That hurts! What did I ever do to you? Eeny weeny, eh? I'm sorry. How would you like it if I hooked one of them things around the roof of your mouth, buddy? I'll never fish again. Then mend your ways, warmonger. Deliver your stick of doom into my hands, and I will see that no one is ever hurt by its E-V-I-L again. Stick of doom? The fishing rod. Oh, of course. Interesting. Though that's not how we do it in my country. Yeah, I'd like to visit your country someday. I insist you stay with my family when you do. <laughs> Didn't the day go quickly? Bedtime, unique and lovable campers. Bedtime, don't forget our Introduction to Foreign Culture seminar first thing in the morning. See you in the morning, Nigel. Pleasant dreams, Ananda. Sleep tight, Chione. <laughs> Stop giggling, young wee. Nighty night, Pink Panther. Don't let the bed bugs bite, mine kinder. Good night, John boy. <laughs> hmm. This wasn't here yesterday. Dear Pink, come quick! Nigel is in a terrible state! You can see he's very agitated. Agitated. A G I tated. Agitated. Nigel, what's got you so upset? Be quiet. I hate you. I hate this place. It's a rotten dump. Oh, you couldn't possibly be. Be quiet. I want to go home to England. England rules. I can't stand it here. It's a rotten dump. A dump. You hear me? R O T T. Close enough. Your next word is hyperbole. Hyperbole. A H Y P E uh Boli. Hyperbole. Now leave me alone. I hate you.
What do you think is wrong with him? Well, his spelling seems a little skittish for one. But Pink! I wanna go home! I wanna go home! I wanna go! Home? That's right! I wonder what the story is behind this thing. We must do something! The better camping bureau will shut us down! He wants to go home! If you can't bring Mohammed to the mountain... Can't we worry about Mohammed after we've taken care of Nigel? I'll hot-foot it over to England and snatch up a few of his favorite things from home. Nigel will be happy as a clam. I hate it here. I want to go home. I'll be in my cabin. See me before you leave. I want to give you a little something for your trip. Pink Panzer, I've made you a special travel device. Travel device? Not just any device, your very own PDA. Your PDA is small, your PDA is pink, it's your pink digital assistant. Come again? It allows us to communicate and teaches you about the places you'll be traveling to on your trip to exciting London, England. How much would you pay for a digital assistant like this? I've never had a digital assistant. $200? $300? Today it's yours free! Free! With your PDA, you will know things you didn't even know you knew. Your PDA can tell you about any country you visit. You can manipulate the PDA with the control panel along the bottom and the arrows around the wheel. It's easy to navigate through the PDA. Click on the arrows to select the country you want information about. Click on the arrows to select the topic you want information about. Click on the go arrow and faster than you can say, I'll have the fat-free vinaigrette, you'll arrive at the domain page hosted by a colorful character. Fact pages supply the real learning power of the PDA, the kind of stuff most folks just won't know. Now, anytime you right-click an object, you hear a little tidbit of information about it. But when you see a PDA icon flash at the bottom left-hand corner of the page, you can click on it to go directly to a fact page. So much information, sheesh! I hope you have room in your head. I tell you, it's the hottest thing since sliced bread, Pink. No lie! Take your seat and fasten your seat belt. The aircraft will be moving shortly. We're next on the runway to take off. If you'll make sure your seat belts are fastened, we'll be on our way promptly. And thank you for flying Air Smarty. We'll be cruising at an altitude of 42,000 feet today. Once we finish our climb, you can remove your seatbelt and move freely about the cabin. Meal and beverage today? Sure.
current weather conditions are gray and foggy. Thank you for flying air, Smarty.